Welcome back. To return to the lost city. So this is the third way in that we found. Oh, this is the temple. This is the temple itself that we're supposed to be coming to. That's perhaps. No, this is this is the this is not this is not it's supposed to be finding a keeper chapel, not an old lost city temple. But this is where uh, Florence would have ended up. Might find some trace of her, perhaps. Do you love these collapsed columns? Really cool. Hello. There's something up there. Slowly go slowly. Careful there. Oh, I'm in this case, hadn't come come around before. Yeah, so they've got a problem. They didn't set them up right. They should have done having lights on them. That's a shame. I suppose it makes them easier to be stealthy around. It doesn't look like fire. Yeah, there seems to be a temple with significant significations of fire. Is he coming or going? Oh, it's so hard to tell, you know. The faces are very hard to see which side is their face and which side is their butt. Although both sides are hot. I mean, I could just extinguish it, but you know what? You're not causing me any harm yet. So, uh... Let's just respect the local wildlife, shall we? Hello? <laughs> that doesn't look good. Florence Epidian? General Keeper Florence, entry 127. Well, that was close. All minor earthquakes are a common occurrence down here. The last one was substantially different. I was on my way to the chambers of the high priest to continue my research when the shockwaves of a giant quake knocked me off my feet. I barely made it into the big temple before the entrance collapsed behind me. Luckily, the old structures still seem to be intact and I should be safe here. Tree 128. Might not be so lucky after all. It looks like the quake has trapped me in here as the door of the temple is closed and seems to be blocked from the outside. I have to search the ruins for another exit. 129. I've been trapped here for what I've been presuming has been days. I've tried everything I could, and so far, I haven't found any other means of escape. Both of the main exits are blocked by debris that's too heavy for me to lift, and my limited supply of water crystals is rapidly dwindling. However, there's still hope. I heard a group of fire elementals patrolling the area a few hours ago, so there has to be another way out of here. In the meantime, I'll simply have to try and get some rest and wait for the elementals to move on. Well... Florence, thanks for your spare water, but uh, you're going to be resting for quite a while. Yeah, this entrance is not going to... Not going to fly, is they coming back? Hello? Pretty safe. Again, if it had the dynamic light, it would be a much riskier situation.
I didn't even realize I could hear. I mean, I didn't, I didn't think they couldn't, I just... I mean, fire. Fire isn't, isn't really known for ears. Anything up here? Nothing except my... How many deaths if I'm careless? Well, let's be where the high priest's chambers were. It looks like other people got stuck in here too. And what's more spiders? I won't mourn the spiders at least. Man, I hit you. Got you on the foot. Squash. Okay, don't seem to be any fire elements all hanging around in here, so we've got spiders though, yes. If we could jump here across the stairwell, we could try exploring the stairwell. It's another little spider. Is back to the city parts away from the temple. Wait, is this is this our buried friends? Could be. I didn't see anything else up here. Hang up. Made too much noise here by accident. She really coming to search. He is. There's nothing, mate. There's nothing there. It's usually safer to go the same way that they're going, right? Because they're circling. Not the same barracks. I say usually it's safe to go the same way. It seems like this time it might actually be safe to go the other way, so I get a better view on this on this fella, because from here. Can't really see which way he's facing until it's too late. Maybe it's okay. You know, I want to check out those other places too, so. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look how sad. One Mr. Distant Director, anyway. Look a different direction. too hard to sneak around here from that side, so I will get a long way around. But, I was able to check out that house, and that's the main reason I wanted to go that way. There's a patch of light here, maybe from the crystal. I don't want to see me, and I'm gonna to have to stop to grab the crystal, so. I will be a little bit patient. Well, we're back to jumping over lava again. Hello. Seeing more spiders. You saw me as well. Long range vision, that guy. Hello, there's a passage there, there's a passage here. This places, honestly. Careful, Garrett. Let's turn the wrong way and walk off the ledge. In my haste. I wonder if any of these land on top of the fire elemental's head. I wonder if you could kill a fire elemental by dropping rocks on it. Probably, right? Okay, so if we get down here, I'm not going to be back up again. Is there anywhere else I want to go from this direction? I want to I see where this goes. Aha! Well, this is. Let's look like the Keeper Chapel. Oh, the broadhead. An arrow is both weapon and key. To be unlocked, some secrets require an arrow. I mean, I could put statue parts back on the pedestal, but this is not. <laughs> Here's a sinking pedestal. <laughs> Damn, I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> very good, need very good. find a better way than this. Yeah. That's, that's a nasty trick. Um, and I'm laughing because I outsmarted the designer by accident. Uh, because the idea is, oh, you're, you're there. You start, you know, you, know, you played the Haunted Cathedral, you say, oh, I know how this works, I'll reassemble the statue. And you try that, and uh, all these rocks fall on your head. <laughs> Alright, arrow. I guess we're trying shooting an arrow at the keyhole. There's a weapon a key. Some kind 
the physics bug got me worse than any keeper traps. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be able to get up here. Just, I'm trying to mantle it. Ah, oh, shit. That was, that was the keeper traps. I think I'm going to have to reload because this is just killing me with physics. I don't know why. I don't understand why I can't get out. I guess it's... A little weird. It looks big enough, but <laughs> yeah, keeper traps. Okay, let's uh, do this again. There is a little delay on the trap, so uh, I do happen to set them off. Seems to be only at the top and the bottom. So maybe I can just walk down the stairs. Oh, it's definitely there. Two doors. When Garrett came to a room with two closed doors, he entered the door on his left. Entry 57. We are almost done with exploring the sunken city. So far we have been able to identify the remnants of two temples, several urban districts, a few of them still more or less intact, and several sections of the grand outer city wall. It should take us at least four additional months to transcribe all the inscriptions that are still legible so that our fellow keepers may study them in our grand library and compound. Every time I step into one of these caves I am amazed by what these ancient precursors were able to build and how advanced their culture and science once were. 58. We finally found a good place to establish a fixed shelter in one of the caves that is neither inhabited by barracks nor spiders, nor in danger of being flooded by lava. Three of us will be tasked with constructing a little chapel that will serve as our refuge down here, while the rest will keep on exploring, charting and transcribing as originally planned. Although the construction efforts might delay our main task, the chapel will come in handy when we later have to prepare the transcriptions, as well as categorise and catalogue the artefacts before shipping them up to the city. 64. Today, Keeper Jonas reported finding another large cave after a minor earthquake revealed several tunnels that had been buried by debris. According to his description of the building he found inside the cave, it looks as if he may have discovered an ancient workshop of some sort, probably a former, sh former shipyard. We will send in another team to explore and secure this newly discovered area. 65. I just received word from our Keeper compound that the City Council has decided to drill new mining shafts in this area after traces of ore and diamond were found while excavating a world shaft. I hope that they will not dig too deep and stumble upon this sunken city by accident. On the other hand, this provides us with new escape tunnels in case our exit gets blocked by a landslide. However, we probably won't be alone down here anymore. 66. Keeper Jonas and his team returned from the newly discovered excavation site. What they were able to learn is just amazing. It seems as if my initial guess was correct after all. The building is indeed a former precursor shipyard. According to the inscriptions that could readily be deciphered, the precursors were able to build fairly advanced vessels. If our translations are correct, they were even able to construct ships that could travel below the sea, just like fish. Jonas is sure that he has found blueprints for such a vessel, and believes he can decipher them. 67. Today, another expedition to the ancient shipyard discovered yet one more cave, through which a constant and large stream of water is running. Based on the size of the stream, its flow rate and the overall position of the cave, it seems as if it is connected to the big underground river running straight underneath the city and into the open sea. However, we stumbled upon something even more interesting. Jonas and his team cleared a big pile of what was initially taken to be rubble, and in doing so discovered the remnants of an unfinished precursor vessel that was under construction at the time the lost city was destroyed. They proposed restoring and completing the vessel based on the blueprints we found. According to our survey, there seemed to be enough material still left in the shipyard, iron plates in particular, to complete the vessel. Moreover, Jonas proposed stealing construction equipment from the miners, since we need more tools if we to repair the vessel. We will decide on this matter in a council meeting next week. 68. We received permission from the Keeper Council to restore and complete the Precursor Vessel and to see if we are able to operate it safely. They all agreed that this vessel would provide us with the most elegant access to the Lost City. Jonas's team has already proposed a name for the vessel. Nautilus. Pages seem to elaborate on the construction of the unfinished Precursor Vessel. 204. The Nautilus returned just in time from its third voyage to the docks of the city. 
We are facing a series of unprecedented earthquakes, earthquakes, and most of our tunnels are at risk of being buried by massive and continuous landslides. I'm afraid that we must relocate our operations aboard the vessel. I issued orders to transfer all transcriptions and artifacts to the vessel and to prepare for emergency departure if necessary. I should return to our safe haven at once. So we found the Lothkeeper Chapel, and what happened to them? Well, somewhere what happened to them. Keeper Journal mentioned a second way to the surface, leading through the old mine shafts. See if it's still intact. Retrieve the Keeper medallions of the five varied exploration party members to return to the Keepers. I found two. Recover the character in transcriptions from the Keeper's safe haven, the Nautilus, and return to the... When you're done with all your tasks. Well, I mean, the safe haven must be near the Nautilus, at least. Hello, Keepers. Remember that you will need a special key to enter our safe haven. Please return it to our hidden stash here in this compound once you have returned from the safe haven. Okay. Special keys, huh? This is their sleeping quarters. Two beds. Spare my normal. Oh, they've, got an, they've got another door there. Oof. One unit by one unit high stairs. I don't know. Ah, oh, they've got more beds. Okay. No, no valuables? Or one, one valuables. Mere, merely one valuables. Now I'm... Secret stash, huh? So secret anymore. More broad heads. A healing potion, that's very nice. I surprisingly am not in desperate need of it just yet, but uh, there's the key. You see, it's got a picture of the building that it should open on it. That's nice. What are these? Gunpowder. Okay. I could just put them in my pockets, which is a little surprising, but I won't complain, it's probably better than lugging it everywhere. So I want crates? I don't know, probably not, but... I definitely don't want a sack. You're not hiding any secrets, are you? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's close this up again. stack of crates in front of it to look innocuous. So if anybody else does have to come here and survive the traps and read the note about the secret stash, then uh, be there isn't another secret stash in here, is there? <sighs> no, there would be too, too many secrets. Alright, let's see if I can get out without getting killed. to be successful. Alright. Put a big save in. Wish I had some kind of map. Some kind of... Even even the original Lossy map helped with rough ideas of finding where you were. So, it's a good thing I decided to explore this path because we're all going down yeah, because this would have been a one-way drop, it looks like. Now, I'd love to land in front of this window ledge. I'm going to try going slowly off the edge here. There's nothing. Anything in this window? Seems not. Oh. Oh wait, is this where we first came in? We first saw the fire elemental? Or is this different? I can't tell. It looks different. There's fire arrows over there, I want them.
How badly do I want this question? I want them more badly than I jump. As I was saying, we about bad jumping. Oh, hello. Nearly missed you. Alright, that's a little more successful. Let's try not jumping, not making more noise just yet, Garrett. So I'm now check the other side of this place. Chilling and going back and forth a bit, isn't it? Forth anyway. It would be it would be very easy to just uh, you know throw one of my seventeen water arrows at him, but so far I've managed to evade hostilities with any creature that didn't deserve it. Um I am implicitly implying, yes, that all the spiders deserve death just for being spiders. I know that's very uh very hurtful to those of you with spiders as close relatives. Um, I'm sorry about that. My parents were murdered by a spider. He just doesn't want to go away, does he? Look, mate, I appreciate your... Uh, I knew once I was in the jump that it was that would have felt good. Ah! And I missed that jump. I'm just gonna not worry about the fire guy. Oof. Is this where it came before? No, I don't remember ice crystals. This place is enormous. I'm just gonna have to break these things down, aren't I? Wait till our friend gets a little further away, I think. Let's not do any more shattering than we have to because it's noisy. City. Wow. Okay. Ah. I've never been here before, and yet for some reason it feels like I have. Like it feels familiar. It's odd. Let's see. Is there anything to be gained by climbing on the roof? Noisily. <coughs> I mean, I can collect more rubble. Doesn't seem to be anybody about. If there were, I just worked them out.
What's this building? I guess I'm not going to find answers by uh, peeking through the windows, right? Oh, there's an entrance. Oh, there's lava inside too. This is... Seem too agitated. Oh, that's the good news. Oh, there he is, kind of stuck. Let's fix that, shall we? one in there. More of them. I guess I could come over here from the roof quite easily, but... Probably good that I didn't really try to. More gears. Didn't think I needed, but I guess maybe you never know when they might come in handy, I suppose. It's already gone. I was gonna say, um, stopped in case the light suddenly came on. Ooh, that's quite nice. Oh, some scrolls I can't read. I was hoping they would read some more of the history of this place, find out what this building was when it was before it was ruined, but no. Apparently, that is not to be. Curiosity will never be sated. Where is our friend here? There he is. I do very much appreciate this mission is... Good for uh, feeling stealthy, you know. It's very ghostable. I mean, in spite of the side, I'm not. I don't mean strict ghost rules. I mean, just staying stealthy and undiscovered, like, like it feels like I ought to. I don't. I don't really care about proper ghost rules, but I do appreciate. I do enjoy feeling sneaky. This is letting me do that quite well. I wonder if there's anything out here. I mean, there's another another way out of the chamber. 
I do want to check out the far side of the building, though. So I have a lot of things to find. Hello. Is that another passage? actually see me out of the corner of his eye. I mean, their eyes are pretty big corners. Let's clear in. Another passage. And just more rockfall, I suppose. I can get on this roof as well, but there's always no reason to get to make noise. One never knows, right? Kind of walk. I'm walking straight, but uh, it's the slope of the roof. If I don't angle up, I fall off easily. Silent stone. Does this lead to the same room as the barracks? It does look like it. Oh, he's looking my way. Where I came in. Is he just standing there watching? Oh, well, he's watching over his dead boy friend, I guess, but I see some valuables, you know. I'm definitely standing vigil there. run and risk it and, and risk waking him up. Kinda of don't want to but kind of maybe you do. Definitely can't go with that trying to grab the loot. Also a little concerned about the, the stinging flies but uh, let's just try it. Alright, I think he wasn't too bothered. Mr. Barrack. That worked okay. It's often hard to tell when uh, when they will notice something and when they won't. But he's he's he noticed something, I think. He's coming to search him. 
He didn't actually see me, but he saw something. And he's very curious. A little suspicious. Alright. But not too suspicious. He's given up again. Okay, so there was another way out of this chamber. Uh, the, the, the place of the building. There was the, uh, the way out from the water as well. This, this map is absolutely enormous and contains, I don't know how many alternate paths. It's definitely non-linear, but I'm not sure... I'm not really sure it's non-linear in a way I appreciate, because it's, it just means it feels like I'm going to have to do a ton of backtracking. Maybe I won't. If I find if I find if I can get the loot goal without, I'll be okay. I, I mean, I'm not I'm not bothered about exploring 100% of this place. Have some things. Like if I can get all my objectives done, I, I'm happy to go at the mission. Right? does feel like a nice place to explore everything for sure, I'm not... No question. Ooh. This looks... Interesting and hazardous. If I put out those fires, I can climb some rocks. That looks... that's a really interesting concept. to work. Oh. I wonder, what if somebody had some kind of rotary metal thing with teeth? What it might do. Wait, is that the same temple? Or is this a different temple? And what's up there? It's definitely a different temple. <gasps> this one doesn't have fire elemental in it, I don't think. So maybe there's a keeper there. I mean, I have to find three more keepers, I think. have to find a ton more money. Still doesn't feel like there's any, any enemies around. Hello, did I come here before? Am I getting... Why am I feeling a deja vu here? Yeah, this is the same temple. I did come here before and I went out that way. Okay. We are getting some, some paths wrapping up on each other. Good to know, but there seems to be nothing else in here, which is unfortunate for me. <gasps> Look, you precursors, like, I don't know what you're all about, but... If you make temples, you're supposed to fill them with gold and valuables. That's that's why temples exist. Alright, let's do this. I'm sure it's possible to get across those without actually hurting yourself. Um oh god. Because the fire stim is usually small, doesn't it? take some time to to happen but, so. <sighs> wait 
wait, what now? Oh, okay. Oh, is this the way, is this the other way out through the mining shafts? That was a bad place to put a rope arrow. So I can't get anywhere from it. It's probably the edge of the platform. Better. I'll take it because it's not a good placement for getting back down again. It does feel like old mining works. Soulless creatures. Any on your thoughts on them? There. Oh, and here. Where is this fella going? Oh, you can ride along that lava as well. And look, I'm gonna have to, I can see some more loot down there. Our well, zombie friend is not coming this far, so. Oh, this is all. Do not venture into the sunken temple that was discovered this morning. James, one of our fellow miners, already paid for his curiosity with his life. Do not touch anything. Stay away from those golden jars and stay away from the temple. We shall have this tunnel sealed again soon. Donald. Okay, I'm just going to drop that and leave you that as a marker. Oh, this is dead end, isn't it? Sunken Temple. Yeah. Well, before I investigate the Sunken Temple, what is your... Is your friend here doing anything? No, he's just in a little dead end by himself. Pestry over there. Bunch of fire elementals. What's so bad about the temple? I mean, apart from uh, traps.
very slow doors. Maximum drama. And, uh... Yeah, it does look like an interesting place, doesn't it? I think we'll end the episode here. It's a little early, but it's fine. Thanks for watching. See you soon for the next one.